Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox news video. Today, we're proud to announce that LaunchBox 11.7 has been released. And like with all new releases of LaunchBox and Big Box, we have some fixes, improvements, and some new features. In this video, we're going to go over a few of the new improvements, then we'll take a look at the new features. But like always, I will leave a link to the changelog in the description in case you want to read through it and see what's changed with LaunchBox 11.7. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first up on the improvement side, the multi-threaded downloader has now been updated to force a timeout after 60 seconds of inactivity. This is going to help prevent stuck download situations due to connection hiccups. And I have seen a few people posting about their stuck media downloads on the forum, so hopefully this will prevent it. You don't have to sit there and wait forever and then find out, oh, it's been stuck this whole time. It'll do a timeout after 60 seconds. Next on the list, the big box platform image cache is now theme specific. And this has to go hand in hand with the new features that we have, and we'll get to those in a second. But this is going to help prevent platform images from one theme showing up incorrectly in another theme. And I've actually seen this myself in the past. This is going to be totally eliminated because now each theme has its own image cache. And finally here for the improvements, there's been a significant reduction in big box RAM usage and requirements. Big box has been further optimized to use less RAM, and in turn, this is going to lower the requirements for running big box on your PC. All right, so now it's time to move up to the new premium features. And this one here goes hand in hand with that dedicated image cache for each theme because now Big Box has theme specific options. This is going to allow us to change nearly every single setting for an individual theme that you choose. And we're going to get into that real quick. So from Big Box. We're going to back up to our settings. And you'll notice there's a new section called theme specific options. So we'll go in here and I have all my themes listed, but I'm using colorful light. And this is the one I want to mess around with right now. So I'm going to choose this theme. And from here, we now have all the options that we can change for the specific theme. And if we make any changes at all, it's only going to affect this specific theme that I chose to change. So it's not going to mess with any of your other themes. And we can basically customize individual themes here and tailor them to our liking. And as you can see, there's a ton of different options to mess around with. And I know there's a lot of people out there that spend a lot of time kind of customizing their theme to their liking. And now when you swap themes, you don't have to worry about messing around with any of those settings you change because they're all going to be theme specific now. And since we're already here in the big box settings, we'll take a look at that last new premium feature. Theme demos. So when we start this up, it's randomly going to switch between various themes that we have installed. It's kind of like a track mode, but instead of sticking with that single view per theme, it'll actually randomly and automatically switch between views that you can use with specific themes. So when you're ready to use this, I would actually recommend going to manage themes and go ahead and download as many themes as you can. Right now I have 23 installed. There's five extras available. So we'll hit this up, go with bar top here by Viking. And since I'm here, we'll grab one more. We'll go with retro fresh. And from the big box options, we'll go down to start themes demo. And it's randomly going to go through the themes you have installed. And it's also going to give you some information in the bottom right hand corner. So this is great if you want to get a feel for what looks best with a theme. And as you can see, we have the name of the theme in the bottom right hand corner. It also shows us the random view that it chose to use with the themes demo. So like I mentioned, it's kind of like a track mode, but it does swap out those views to kind of change it up a bit while it's running in the background. And this is great for people with an arcade cabinet that stays on 24 seven. I actually have one and I've been utilizing this quite a bit because in the past with the track mode, it just stayed on that same theme, kind of got a bit annoying after a while, but this one swaps basically everything out. So yeah, that's pretty much it for LaunchBox 11.7. Lots of fixes, lots of improvements and some really awesome new features here. Now in this video, we've talked a lot about big box themes, but some new users might not even know that we can actually swap out our LaunchBox themes. If we head over to the forum here under downloads, there is a section for LaunchBox custom themes. Now I've downloaded a few here and I'm just going to show you how to install them real quick. I have done a video in the past on doing this, but I know a lot of people are new to LaunchBox and I kind of just wanted to do this real quick to show them how to customize everything. So we're going to go with Neon Deluxe Arcade by Mr. Retro Lust. We're just going to download here, download this file. I'm going to go with the newest version. 
So I've got Neon Deluxe Arcade downloaded here. This is the LaunchBox theme. We're going to go ahead and extract it. Now over here in our LaunchBox installation folder, there's a folder called LB Themes. We're going to go right in here. And inside of these LaunchBox themes that you download, there may be some font files. So we're going to go ahead and install this just so it looks correct. I've already got that installed, but we'll go ahead again. And we'll do this one. We're just going to take this folder, place it right in our LB themes. We'll go back to LaunchBox. We'll go to Tools, Options. And if we scroll down a bit, we'll see a theme section. From the drop down, we can choose the theme we just installed, Neon Deluxe. Choose OK. We will have to restart LaunchBox for this to take effect. And as you can see, it's totally changed the look of LaunchBox. So we do have some customization that we can do over here. And I kind of just wanted to get this out of the way for anybody who didn't realize we did have custom theme support for the LaunchBox side of things. But that's pretty much it for this video. We really appreciate you watching and hope you enjoyed LaunchBox 11.7. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.